Hey guys, I just wanted to make this short little video real quick while I'm here in the office. We went to look at a repair job and I just wanted to show what we saw on this house. It was really bad, but um, it's just one of those things. I see it more and more, or we see it more and more, probably all of us do, where it's a wannabe Mason or someone who's just too lazy to do it right. And it, more than likely this was a builder that used this mason all the time and so unfortunately there's a lot of houses out there that probably look just like this one and are falling apart after just a couple of years a few years more than a couple this, this house is 12 years old and i mean good grief the pyramids of egypt lasted how long their masons were awesome right but unfortunately masons today won't even last 12 years the masonry on a house won't even last 12 years and it's because it's just not done right and i mean there's a, there's a whole subdivision in our area that you go in and look at the houses and it's just disgusting and i may i may do a video i may go out there and show those houses too but unfortunately this happens more often than not so let's look at what we got here so here's the house and a good mason's going to see everything that's wrong <laughs> and there's a lot and unfortunately some of it's structural and some of it is not so the structural is what we are going to fix and we're a month out and this may fall out tomorrow it may not fall out for two years but we've got them scheduled in for a month from now and it's this whole arch here the arch is going to come down and either on its own or we're going to take it down and i'll show you a little bit closer so you can kind of see what we're going to do and you can't see the cracks and stuff in it i'll show those a little bit up close but for one and this isn't structural we got tombstones going here and some homeowners think it looks cool but anything that's longer vertically than it is horizontally it's going to crack eventually and it's just it's not going to look good forever and so that tends to be a problem a lot of people are like I, I've got cracks and that's what it is structurally it makes it a little weaker but not necessarily weak weak but weak enough to crack so well actually we just did a, a job where we took some down and it was partly because of that but anyway, so we have an eyebrow arch here, and eyebrow arches are, are lower than a big regular arch, but this one, it doesn't tie into the stone on either side very well. A little bit, but not enough. We want to see it come out a little bit more, and that's just to give it a little more strength. It doesn't have a lot of strength. It's not holding a whole lot up here. And I don't know what they used to hold it up to begin with. But anyway, so that's what we're repairing, this right here. And this is why. As you see, it's cracked. It's cracked through the arch. It's cracked up the side. It's cracked all the way across. And it's actually trying to fall out. And it's pushing if you if you look real close you can see right up in the corner where the woods even popping out because it's trying to push out and I've got a little bit better picture of that in a minute too and here's just another picture you can see where it's cracking you see these tombstones a little bit better and you'll also see where they were too lazy to even put the rock side out this is the cut side and it just looks bad they could have at least if they were gonna if they couldn't fit one in there and there's a big chip in it besides that if they couldn't fit one in there and that's the one they wanted to use they should have chopped it up so it looked like the rest of, of the rock which it doesn't and it looks terrible anyway again this one's got a little bit better picture but we'll go on to the next side the next side is 
you see some more of those smooth ones, but what I see here again is it's pushing out this way too, trying to push away from the house. So this should also have been tied in to the brick. It's just slapped up against the brick and it would have been stronger and not necessarily strong enough not to be repaired, but it would have been a whole lot stronger if they had tied it in. They're showing you the crack in the eyebrow arch there. A little better. This is a whole lot better picture of the crack that's on the right hand side. And you can see it pushing out better here. It's just, it's just not going to stay there very much longer. Here's the other side. So I wanted to show you where the cracks were coming through the other side. And here it's pulling away from the wall. And that makes me think that there's not a whole lot holding it to the wall. Um, it probably has some ties because it's required, but not enough. I wouldn't be surprised if we took it down and there's no ties there or very few. I'd like to get some pictures of that, see what's under there. Again, this is on the other side, so the cracks are coming all the way through. They're not just on one side, they're not just on the front. This is actually going to fall out. The crack goes all the way through in the arch. You can see the really wide gap right there where it's not being held together. On this side as well all the way through and I just wanted to show the masons this one the cracks over here and then they were so lazy <laughs> that the bottom is showing I think it's the only one on the whole house I saw which just meant they were just being lazy and didn't even put the face the face of the brick out there's all faces and then there's that which is an eyesore too it's like stuck out like a sore thumb as well then I wanted to show you this one this is just <laughs> funny looking. It's not even something that would hurt anything, but this window is horrible. They should have at least opened up some of the joints, but it's just all laziness right here. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you and uh, drop me a little line down below if you wanna see some more stuff like this and if you have any questions on how to pick your contractor.